All right, guys, we're going to take a look at this Revlo R10 Admiral GMT. This is going to be launching soon, snapshot in time, depending on you know, if you watch this video when I first release it or a year later, then, you know, that's all relative, I suppose. But it's not very often I get to share with you a very cool, well done watch under the $300 price point that is an automatic GMT. They, they just don't land in those numbers. So, and that's what this one is going to do. Um, it is an early bird, like pre-order thing uh, in the $279 range is going to get you on this silicon uh, strap. There is a bracelet option. So if you're, if you love your bracelets, then you're going to want to pay the little bit extra for the bracelet. Okay. All the information will be down below as well. Now let's just get right into the watch. So this guy here is 41.6 millimeter wide, or some might say 41 and a half. The lug to lug is 48.7. You can see a very angular case here. The thickness 13.36 millimeter approximately, exactly. The lug opening here is 22 millimeter and you have a seven millimeter signed knurled screw down crown keeping the 200 meter water resist on this guy. You have a 120 click knurled again bezel very smooth kind of a light spin to it and you obviously can see the pop of color on this thing a lot of orange a lot of loom is on this thing too and if we look up close you can see that entire ring that's on the inner uh on the dial there on the outer side of the dial there is like just a complete loom ring essentially then you have that chapter ring which is going to give you your 24 hour track that the forward only so it's a caller's gmt for those that are wondering it's the seiko nh34 we'll move that so that hand will only go forward when you're in the setting position so um yeah kind of a whirlpool looking dial there's some other color options as well so if this colorway is not your choice you'll have options the loom there's a combination there's c3 luminova and then there's bgw9 as well a nice looking also whirlpool almost like a turbine looking case back there this is the r10 admiral gmt all that information is all in the case back as well quick release spring bars on this strap there's also quick release spring bars on the bracelet however this is the first time i've had one done this way they're not like really captured in there they, they just it kind of slides in there and it's captured it in there like this but they just slide out so um not sure how i feel about that well that's why they're they yeah they slide out but you know for once the bracelet's on it's not going to be an issue but you know don't lose them i guess but if you did, I mean, you just get some 22 millimeter spring bars and put regular ones in there. They don't have to be quick release. Yeah, there it is. Okay, um, I think I covered pretty much everything. Let's pop this thing on wrist. The bracelet is a pin and collar. So pin and tube. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, this is DLC. So it is not, uh, it's going to be scratch resistant. So it's a nice coating on there. And it has a tool list on the fly quick adjust for the uh, clasp system here if I can get it to slide it's a little st on the stiff side there but it does work so nicely done and here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you can see that and of course we're gonna loom the heck out of this thing before we turn off the studio lights matching hardware all that stuff I just can't get over the price point I mean, it was, it's a very cool, unique-looking watch under $300. So, pretty impressive. Yeah, and there, <laughs> I mean, look at that. It's like, it's glowing my hand. It's like, uh, it's, it's bonkers. So, we have a little bit of that orange loom there. Most of it's all green. And then if you look at that, the GMT is loomed out in the BGW9 in the blue. So, excellent job. If you're interested in one of these, get them while you can. I'll see you guys on the next vid.